all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kiri Eleison. Christe Eleison. Kiri Eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the right light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elisha came to Shenem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Some time later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, Can something be done to her? His servant Gehazi answered, Yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said, Call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, This time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your conscience, countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day. And through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of God the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. 
Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever doesn't take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. Whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, the um, only reason for our existence is to love God. That is, there is absolutely no other reason. We exist, we were created with the sole intention of us being able to love God and to love Him with every excellent faculty of our lives. And God doesn't expect us to do anything else, but simply to love Him in return. That's all He wants from us. He doesn't want our works, regardless how big or how small they are. He wants our love. He wants our heart that we should love him above everything else. That's all, that's the only occupation of our lives. In fact, he put a longing uh, in our hearts to love him. Same. The devil knows, the devil knows that we want to love something. So instead of God, he places other goods so that we may get confused and end up loving other things rather than God. So it is not that difficult to love God. The difficulty is to get to know him. How do we get to know God so that we may love him? Well, he left his you know, his presence, his uh, fingerprints impressed in every area of creation. If we look up to creation, the order of creation, the beauty of creation, even in our own souls, it should be very easy for us to love him. Same. So that is why He says what he says in the gospel today. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Same. So the consequence of choosing to love family members or anything else more than God 
is that we become unworthy of God. And this is serious. This is very serious. So, what are we supposed to do to love God first and foremost? Well, we have to struggle against sin, against the enemy of our salvation. We have to struggle to curb our passions, our desires, our tendencies, our tendency to sin. We, we struggle against those things. And secondly, we live, we live for Him. We want to please Him. We, we get to know what, what is His will for us, and we fulfill His will. That's what it means to love God. Dying to sin and living for Him. Pleasing Him in everything that we do. And how do we love our neighbor in the right way? Well, we love our neighbor whenever we give him or her the best. We take care of his soul or her soul first and then everything else. Everything else. So what's the greatest thing we can do for our neighbor? Loving God first. That's the greatest good we can do for everybody else. Loving God first. If we love God first, we will love everyone well. See? That's all we need to do. So, um, reflect today upon how you can truly love those in your family by turning your heart and soul first towards the love of God. Allow this complete embrace of the love of God to become the foundation of your love in every relationship. Only then will good fruit come forth from the love of others. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born into this world and who suffered? Do you believe also in the Holy, Cat the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the resurrection of the body in life everlasting? This is our faith that we are proud to profess in Christ Jesus our Lord. Please be seated. Let us now pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O in the highest. Proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with her will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy.
let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, for Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ, O Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sins, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes to mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O so virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy upon thy people who cry to thee. By the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God of Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church, through the same Christ, our Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus. 